Hello and welcome to another Cable Time Video Quick Start Guide. Today we'll be looking at how to set up and configure your MediaStar Evolution Lancaster DVB-S2. We will perform a channel scan and also set up a channel to stream on our network. We'll assume that you've already set up your unit on the network and are able to browse the configuration page as we see here. There are lots of options to you on this page, however, we're going to focus on how to first scan for TV channels that you may wish to stream onto your network. The Lancaster DVB-S2 requires connection to an external satellite that's been installed and calibrated to receive Freeview satellite broadcast signals. It's always worth checking this is connected securely on the back of the blade unit before proceeding. Next, select the Channel Setup option on the left and you should see a default list of all the groups called multiplexes or muxes for short. These muxes are groups of channels and each multiplex group can contain a number of different channels from different broadcasters. The default muxes seen initially will more than likely not be set up for your local area so we will need to perform a scan by selecting this option. A scan is similar to setting up your TV or Freeview box at home and can take up to five minutes to find all the multiplexes and channels. Once the rescan is complete, you should see a list of all broadcast multiplexes. If you don't see these channels, check your satellite dish positioning and signal quality. If you now browse the MUXs available, you will see the channels at the bottom of the page change the channels currently available on that particular MUX. Today we are going to select just BBC News for streaming. Be aware that if you wish to stream from more than one MUX you will need an additional Lancaster unit or blade per multiplex. Also, any of the channels displaying this padlock image will be encrypted and you will be unable to stream these channels. As the Lancaster can see so many DVB-S2 channels, we've made it as easy as possible to locate which MUX your channel is in. Select the channel list from the left hand side. At the top of this page you can now select B for BBC News and you will see a list of all the channels. We can then scroll down this list and select our BBC News channel. Once selected we will now be sent to the appropriate multiplex containing the BBC News channel. To stream this channel we first have to assign it with a multicast IPM port address. This is a unique address which will allow the viewing of the channels without overloading the network bandwidth. Contact your network administrator for a range of multicast IP addresses that are available on your network. These addresses should be in the range of 224.0.0.0 to 239.255.255.255. I'm entering a multicast IP address that I know is currently available on my network. This is 225.1.1.1. I also know that this port address that we have as default is also available on my network. I've left the TTL and DSCP options on default for now. However, you may need to check with your network administrator for these options, as TTL refers to the amount of router hops your stream will pass across on the network, and DSCP refers to an identifier that can be applied to the stream to ensure quality of service over the network. More information on these options can be found in the Help section in the right-hand side. Finally, enable the channels and at the bottom of the page select tune to this multiplex and then apply. If you now scroll down the page you should see that your selected multiplex is displaying the tuned icon and your multicast IP address is set in the appropriate channel field. To ensure the channels are streaming correctly over my network, I'm going to switch to my Cable Time Viewer software and enter these channel details into my channel list. Here you can see I've already entered the appropriate multicast IP and port address and given the channel the name
BBC News. Then when I select View Channel, I can now view the channel streaming over my network. This ends this quick start guide, but be sure to check your support pages for other videos and support information on our Cable Time Evolution products. Goodbye.